Welcome back to Between Bells. One company is looking to revolutionize the way we think about air travel. Archer Aviation is a new startup that's developing electric vertical takeoff and landing aircrafts. The goal is to allow everyday people like you and me to take short trips throughout cities in a very quick and a very safe way. Think taxis, but with wings. The company went public via SPAC on Friday under the ticker ACHR and already has huge investors like United Airlines backing its innovations. Joining us now is Brett Adcock and Adam Goldstein, who are the founders and CEOs of Archer Aviation. Gentlemen, welcome to the show. Congrats on going public. Congrats on ringing the opening bell today. What an exciting time. What's this milestone mean for your business? And Brett, I'll start with you. Yeah, well, thanks for having us on today. Um, we, this is like a really important uh, time in history where uh, not only is the certification, um, uh, certification roadmap laid, but the technology is really matured to a point where we can develop and bring this aircraft to market. This is an incredible milestone for us uh, as we are now capitalized to hit these milestones throughout certification and manufacturing. Um, and it's an un unbelievable achievement from the team. Adam, as we mentioned, United Airlines, one of your investors, congratulations again. What does this partnership mean for your company? Yeah, well, thanks for having me here as well. Um, the partnership with United Airlines is really a one-of-a-kind partnership where United is purchasing um, over a billion dollars worth of planes with the option to order an additional $500 million worth of planes. But they're not only just buying planes, they're also a big strategic partner for Archer. So they're helping with all different types of things, um, like launching the network, um, we think about things like pilot training and vehicle maintenance and we're working with them really to help get the vehicles to market and get the network running as fast as possible. So they've been a fantastic partner, a great investor and we really look forward to working with them. Our viewers are actually taking a look at the plane and I have to say it is very sleek looking. But earlier this summer you revealed your new model called Maker. Can you break down what this aircraft does and what it's capable of? Yeah, it's a great question. Um, Maker is our full-scale electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. It's a demonstrator aircraft that we're using for advancing our key, te uh, key technologies and also to use as a certification test bed. Uh, we unveiled that aircraft this past summer. It's currently going through ground testing and we'll, do, we'll start doing first flights this year. In parallel to that, we are designing our piloted four-passenger aircraft uh, along with the FAA. And two weeks ago, we announced the FAA has approved our G1 issue paper, which is the first step of bringing an aircraft like this uh, into market. And so it's been qu quite a year, and uh, we really look forward to the next several as we're doing flight tests and engaging more with the FAA. Uh, let's talk about the FAA. You're working to get certification for the aircraft. What's the process been like so far? And when can we see this model out in the market? Adam, that question's for you. Yeah, well, the good news is that the FAA has really been laying the groundwork for this new industry over the past decade. And so there's a lot of work and a lot of frameworks that have been put in place. And as Brett mentioned, we just recently received our G1 certification basis, which was the first major milestone in bringing this vehicle to market um, certified with the FAA. And so we have a lot more steps to go. There's a lot more hard work that we have to you know, really go through. But the goal here is to get the vehicle certified by the end of 2024 and ultimately launch the network right after that. Brett, the urban air mobility space is growing. Joby Aviation, we know that's a, they're a competitor of yours. They've been on the show as well. How does Archer differ from them? So, I mean, here at Archer, we're really focused on trying to build the best consumer experience possible. And there's a, a few, few different areas here we're really proud about. The first is we, we feel like we have one of the world's best team uh, across uh, areas of eVTOL design and commercial aerospace experience. Uh, we have uh, an aircraft that we think is technology-wise one of the furthest ahead in terms of performance and safety. Um, we have some incredible partners. Um, Adam touched on United Airlines, which is, uh, you know, have, we have a multi multiple, uh, you know, uh, we have a multi-billion dollar uh, contract with them in order to bring aircraft uh, to market and they're helping out uh, with basically helping with us deploying the network. And so um, we're really excited now to uh, be listing uh, today because it gives us the capital we need to really hit on some of these key milestones uh, across certification and also manufacturing and aircraft design. Adam, according to Morgan Stanley Research, the market for electric air taxis is expected to grow by $1.5 trillion globally by 2040. Are you worried at all about the competition as more major brands jump into this space? 
Yeah, well, the good news is that there are a lot of use cases for these vehicles. And so Brett and I are really excited to be building you know, a company that's focused on moving people around. But there's actually a lot of use cases that go beyond people, like moving cargo, supply chain logistics, emergency response. And so it really does open up the market for you know, other players to play in other different parts um, of the market. And so what we're really excited about is having a leading position in our technology development, a leading position in our certification uh, timeline. And so um, with the announcement today of us listing here at the New York Stock Exchange, it really locks in the capital we need to get to market and to be one of the first companies to market. And so it will enable us to keep on having that edge, on having that um, leading position as we keep pushing the pace of innovation. Guys, I have to ask you about Whisk Aero. Of course, that's the Boeing-backed rival air taxi. They're accusing Archer of stealing from them. Can you give us an update on this legal battle and, of course, your response to those claims? Brett, I'll start with you. Yeah, I think, I think you're seeing more and more that the, the strategy they had has, has really started to backfire. Um, we, we've recently had some really um, positive news um, from the judge as it relates to the case. Uh, we feel like we're in the best position possible here, and this is a completely meritless uh, case. Um, and you know, I think uh, you know, looking now into the future, we feel like we're in a really good position as it relates to the, the capital of technology we're building, the people, and um, you know, we couldn't be happier. Well, guys, congratulations. It's such a huge time. We hope you come back. Brett Adcock and Adam Goldstein, founders and CEOs of Archer Aviation. Thank you again, gentlemen.